a member of England's next golden generation and the midfield talisman of a high-flying Spurs side. For most football fans, Dele Alli is a name that elicits perhaps a greater sense of frustration than most in England's long history of producing world-class talent. From a young age, Dele Alli had huge potential and appeared to make the step up with greater ease than any of his peers. He seemed destined to go further than any English player had gone in a long time. Early in his career, he was widely considered one of the best young midfielders of his generation and won PFA Young Player of the Year two years straight. He was praised for his all-round skill set and his goal-scoring abilities, particularly when playing as a second striker. Considered as one of the Premier League's most promising player until his career spun out of control, the British midfielder climbed out of League One, putting in some remarkable performances over the years for the Spurs. He was meant to dominate the biggest games for club and country, but finds himself lost and joyless on the periphery. It begs the question, what happened with Dele Ali? In this video, we are going to reveal the rise and fall of Dele Ali, how he went from being the biggest and brightest talents in the Premier League to a failed loan spell in Turkey with a hippie crack controversy. This is that story. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for weekly updates on your favorite sport. Bami Dele Germain Ali is the only child of his parents, born on the 11th of April 1996, to his Nigerian father, Kehinda Ali, and English mother, Denise Ali, in Milton Keynes, Buckinghamshire, England. As young as the age of one, Ali had already shown interest in playing football. His parents were oblivious of his interest in football due to marital issues, because a week after their marriage, his parents separated and later divorced. Dele Ali's custody was granted to his mother, whereas his father thus relocated to Nigeria, where he expanded his business. When Ali was just eight years old, he moved to Nigeria with his father, where he met his extended family. While in Nigeria, Ali and his father disagreed on a number of issues, and thus he decided to move back to England with his mother. Upon his return, Ali found his mother was deeply involved in the abuse of alcohol and drugs. Social services threatened to take full custody of Ali, as Ali sought comfort from his tumultuous childhood from the street. Ali later moved in with Alan and Sally Hickford, who though did not adopt him legally, are referred to as Ali's adoptive parents by him. It was then he began giving attention to his football interest and joined a local team. Ali became a member of the youth team of Milton Keynes Dons at the age of 11. By the time he was 16 years old, he had made his debut with their first team in the FA Cup in November 2012. He scored his first goal against Cambridge and made his league debut in a game against Coventry City in December 2012. After that goal, he gained momentum as it was more of a jump start. He then made several appearances for the English under 17, 18, 19, 21 teams. After some time, he became a regular in the Milton Keynes Dons first team in the 2013-14 season. He suffered a setback during the latter half of 2013 due to an injury, but came back to score the opening goal for his club in 2014 against Shrewsbury Town. He scored his first professional hat trick at the age of 17 to help Milton Keynes Dons clinch a 3-1 victory over Notts County at the Meadow Lane Stadium. In his 37 appearances during the season, he scored seven times, thus becoming a valuable player of the team. The following season, Ali became the team's primary central midfielder, following a move of the team's central midfielder. He continued playing in fine form, and in August, he played full-time as he helped his side defeat Manchester United in the first round of the League Cup. Scouts of several top-flight clubs, such as Liverpool and Bayern Munich, attended the game just because of Ali. He continued in his newly found momentum and was awarded the Football League Young Player of the Month Award. It won't be easy, and I'll have to fight for my place in the team, but I'll work hard to do that. Those were the words of Del Ali when he signed for Tottenham. It may not have been easy, but he made it look so. In February 2015, hours towards the closing of the transfer window, Del Ali penned a five-and-a-half-year contract with Tottenham Hotspurs worth £5 million. He was then loaned back to Milton Keynes Dons for the rest of the 2014-15 season. 
In April 2015, at the Football League Awards, he was named Young Player of the Year. In August 2015, he debuted for Tottenham in the EPL. Two weeks after his debut, he scored his first goal for Tottenham. He had a very impressive start at Tottenham, recording five goals and three assists in his first 18 matches played in the EPL. As a reward for his top form, his contract was extended to 2021. In April 2016, he won the PFA Young Player of the Year Award. He ended the season with a three-game suspension after he punched West Brom midfielder Claudio Jakob in the stomach. At the onset of the 2016-17 season, he changed the name on his jersey to Dele, distancing himself from his parents' name, citing his separation from his parents as the reason for the change. After earning his first goal of the season, he debuted in the Champions League. In December 2016, he scored his first Champions League goal. The following month, he received the EPL Player of the Month award. He concluded his sophomore season in the EPL by earning a successive PFA Team of the Year selection and PFA Young Player of the Year award. Ali began his 2017-18 season by scoring in the opening game, but struggled in the season, which drew criticisms from fans. In the following season, Ali returned to form. In October 2018, he signed a contract extension which will see him stay at Tottenham Hotspurs till 2024. He suffered a hamstring injury in January but was back in action for a UEFA Champions League showdown against Liverpool. All this Dele's best days at Tottenham came under the management of Mauricio Pochettino, who was a big fan of the midfielder and provided him with a system in which he could thrive, playing off Harry Kane. Pochettino put Dele in the same category as legends of the game like Diego Maradona and Ronaldinho due to the way he showed his personality on the pitch. Pochettino was sacked by Spurs in November 2019, and Dele's career has never been the same since. Dele returned 55 goals and 52 assists in 194 games under Pochettino's management, but has floundered under a variety of other managers. Pochettino's exit was the beginning of a downward fall for Ali, and has been on the periphery in North London ever since. The appointment of Jose Mourinho was meant to bring the trophies that had avoided Pochettino to the Tottenham Trophy Cabinet. But for Ali, the former Chelsea gaffer's arrival proved to be a defining moment in his fledgling career. Mourinho has a habit of making an example of a young starlet if they fail to live up to his lofty expectations, especially those in attacking positions. Kevin De Bruyne and Mo Salah are just two who have felt the cold shoulder of Mourinho in the past, so some would argue Ali was in good company. Ali was switched to attacking role as Mourinho believes he isn't a midfield player. The move was effective as he scored in his first three games following the arrival of Mourinho. However, the pair never gelled, and with the Portuguese boss struggling to make Ali tick, the midfielder soon found himself out of favor and warming the bench. Although making 25 appearances during Mourinho's first season at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, he only featured 15 times the following season, and Ali's strained relationship with the manager became an unpremeditated situation. With Mourinho gone, Ali had the chance to resurrect his Spurs career and briefly made a resurgence in the early days of Nuno Espirito Santo's reign. However, his performances flattered to deceive, and having found himself cast aside to the Europa Conference League B team by Santo, his Tottenham future is looking bleak with Antonio Conte now in the Spurs' hot seat. Conte has been scathing in his analysis of the Spurs squad since arriving in London, and Ali is now back to his now customary role of warming the bench. When Pochettino was in the Spurs' dugout, the midfielder was allowed to flourish, and the gaffer was there to wrap an arm round his shoulder and allow him to just be Dele. However, following the Argentine's departure, Ali has felt the influence of a series of organizers and disciplinarians on his career. There is no room for individuality with the likes of Mourinho and Conte at the helm. All that Mourinho and Conte asked of Ali was to take the risk out of his game, retain possession, and keep things simple. Ali was unable to do that, but has struggled to make the transition from free-spirited frontman to disciplined midfield general. Many believe his failure to prioritize football and his clearly thriving social status is detrimental to his career and escaping the traps of the London glamour scene 
could be key to Ali getting his sporting career back on track. With Ali's surplus to requirements in North London, now appears the time to try pastures new, and it is likely he will not be short of options. A move away from Tottenham was touted as a route back to the top. He moved to fellow Premier League side Everton on the 31st of January 2022 on an initial free transfer, which could rise to £40 million if certain performance benchmarks are met. But the player started just once in a woefully forgettable spell at Goodison Park. He made his debut on the 8th of February as a late substitute in a 3-1 loss against Newcastle United. He failed to make an impact at Everton, making 11 appearances and only one start in the 2021-22 season and two further appearances in the 2022-23 season. He did not score or register an assist in 13 games. The relatively inexperienced hand of Frank Lampard was not one best suited to guiding him back to the peak of his powers and he was quickly sent packing to Turkey and Besiktas. Perhaps further distance from a league, in which he had fallen so dramatically from grace, was intended to trigger a rejuvenation. On the 25th of August 2022, he joined Turkish team Besiktas on loan for the remaining of the 2022-23 season, with an option to buy for the club. Del was given a hero's welcome when he arrived in Istanbul, but his move to Turkey has not seen him return to his glory days at Tottenham. He has made just 15 appearances in the 2022-23 season for Besiktas, with three goals. Once again in his up-and-down career, proved to be a false dawn. He was axed from the first team by March, and Besiktas sought to cancel his season-long loan. It remains to be seen what the immediate future holds for Dell at Everton in the wake of this most recent and perhaps most damaging incident in his turbulent personal life. If any are to push Dell to a turnaround, then Sean Dyche likely has a better chance than most. But the former Burnley boss is not one to waste his energy on a player that does not buy into his philosophy and really honestly want to work under him. Dele is now at a true crossroads in his career. He is 27, with almost a decade left ahead of him of his playing days and more than enough time to make up for the last few seasons of footballing anonymity, provided he wants to, that is. If his latest antics portray anything, it is that he is a young man in need of help and guidance, at a time when he is fast becoming his own worst enemy, and the Toffees must lend him their support if they are to nurture him back to his best. Dele's rise was prodigal, his fall from grace staggering. But that is not to say that this 27-year-old man with his whole life still ahead of him cannot rise once more and prove wrong the doubters that have circled him since he first made his Tottenham debut eight long years ago. Hope you enjoyed it and has learnt a lot from Deli Ali's career. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for weekly updates on your favorite sport. Thank you and stay tuned.